Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for You. This morning I wanted to take a look at installing GNU Smalltalk. It's actually pretty easy. You go here to smalltalk.gnu.org, follow to the download page, and what you'll do is go down to the bottom of the download page. I'll just go forward here because that's where I was. Go down here, and you want to download the latest version of this. Now, it turns out that my installation of Ubuntu did not have the right thing, but all I needed to do was an apt-get on uh, apt-get space install space xz-utils, so like this. If I go in here, I'll just type that. I've already done this, but let's do an apt get install xz-utils. That's what you'd want to do. So I'm just going to control C since I've already done that. The next thing you want to do, let's go back, is you want to do these three steps. You want to unzip the stuff, so that's just running xz and the archiver will handle that. So once you've downloaded it, just have the Ubuntu archiver handle it. Now that you've got XE installed, it'll deal with all of it, and you'll get a directory like this. GST installs where I put things, and you'll have a smalltalk-3.2, or whatever the latest version is at the time you're watching this. Once you've got that uncompressed, you want to run these four commands right here. So you want to do a dot slash configure in a shell, followed by a make, followed by a make check, followed by a make install. That'll be a lot of spewing to the console. The only thing I had to do is I had to do a sudo on this last one because the directory I wanted to write to by default was not writable by my user, it was writable by root, so I had to do a sudo on this last one here, the make install. So to get that to work, I had to sudo it. Once you've done that, though, you can do this, gst, and you'll get smalltalk at the command line. Notice it says can you do smalltalk ready, so if I do object print string, there it is. Now, not terribly exciting, and there are GUI tools. I might get into installing those in a future screencast, but at the moment, I've got command line Smalltalk. I can write code in files like I can with any other tool set like Ruby or Python, and version control them in things like, I don't know, standard version control tools. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever Smalltalk you're using.